New Russian air defense systems have been put on combat alert in the city of Elektrostal in the Moscow region. They can monitor a radius of 400 kilometers at almost any altitude and can intercept all kinds of rockets and aircraft, as Mikhail Lebedev now reports. The skies over Moscow have become safer as the Russian Air Force received its first S-400 Triumph air defense system. It was first tested back in 1999, but the decision to adopt it came only last month. S-400 is meant to counter all kinds of missiles and aircraft flying at a speed up to 4.8 kilometers per second. And even stealth technology aircraft are not capable of hiding from it. The system can hit targets flying as far as 400 kilometers away from it and as low as 10 meters off the ground, while the U.S.-made analog Patriot systems acquires targets only starting from 60 meters. The new Russian state-of-the-art complex, with its obvious advantages, is expected to prompt demand from international buyers, but the possible price tag is likely to be very high. And anyway, this system will not be available for foreign customers for some years. In the nearest two years, this system will be used in the Russian army. After that, we will be able to see if any modifications are necessary and will be ready to start production of the system for export no earlier than by 2009. This complex could be in two modifications, a stationary variant and a mobile one, but Russian military give priority to the second variant. And little surprise, as it takes just five minutes for the mobile S-400 to be deployed, compared to the Patriot system, which takes one and a half hours. And just like the United States used their Patriot complex during the Salt Lake Olympic Games, now the Russians are thinking to use S-400 Triumph to ensure airspace security during the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics. I have made a proposal to prepare S-400 air defense systems to ensure the security of the Olympics. While others will be building hotels and sport ventures, we will work out a plan to secure these facilities for the time of the Games. So far, this is just the first deployment of the system. Another S-400 is planned for the next year. But just a single Triumph could substitute three of its predecessors, and its survivability is five times greater in the event of being attacked. This S-400 Triumph system looks just like its predecessor S-300. It is made on purpose to confuse the intelligence of the possible enemy. Moreover, it's a totally new generation which can be used as an element of the anti-ballistic missile system. Now with the new Triumph complex, Moscow might have required not just military advantage, but even perhaps some political aces up its sleeve. The U.S. plans to deploy the anti-missile shield in Eastern Europe. Russia has offered an alternative, a joint defense initiative, and the S-400 could persuade Washington to finally accept this offer. Mikhail Lebedev, Russia Today, Moscow Region.